As an engineering or project management professional, you might be wondering whether to pursue a professional engineering license or a project management certification. Both credentials offer significant benefits in your career, but they are different in nature and purpose. I'm Anthony Fasano, and in this Pass the PE Exam video, I'm going to explain the key differences between a PE license and a PM certification, and hopefully help you decide which one is right for you. This Pass the PE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. The PE license is a certification that demonstrates a level of competency and expertise in the field of engineering. PM certifications, on the other hand, demonstrate a level of proficiency in project management. Both credentials can be very valuable for advancing your career, but they do serve different purposes and they do require different skill sets. So let's start with a PM certification. PM certification refers to the process of obtaining a certification that verifies an individual's competency and expertise, of course, in project management. Project management certification programs are designed to provide professionals with the skills and knowledge required to successfully plan, execute, and manage projects in a variety of industries. These PM certifications are offered by various organizations, such as the Project Management Institute, which you may have heard of. They're also referred to as PMI. The International Project Management Association, which you may have heard of as IPMA. And the Association for Project Management, or APM. Now, usually these certification processes involve meeting specific education and experience requirements, passing an exam, and also adhering to a specific code of ethics. If you're interested in leading projects and managing teams, a PM certification could be a great way to demonstrate your skill set in this area. Project managers are responsible for planning, executing, making sure they close out their projects effectively. They need to be able to coordinate resources, manage budgets, and communicate effectively with stakeholders across the board. And a PM certification can be really useful and help to enhance a project manager's credibility, increase job opportunities, and improve your earning potential. One of the more noteworthy or popular PM certifications is the Project Management Professional, also known as the PMP, which is administered by the Project Management Institute, or PMI. However, if you're more interested in the technical aspects of engineering, then the PE license might be a better fit for you. The PE license, or the Professional Engineering License, is a certification granted to engineers who have met the educational, experience, and examination requirements set forth by their state's licensing board. This license is a legal requirement for engineers who offer their services directly to the public or who work on projects that require the approval of a licensed engineer. Having a license will make you stand out. Now, to become a licensed professional engineer, an individual must typically hold a bachelor's degree in engineering from an accredited program, and that's important. You have to pass the fundamentals of engineering or the FE exam, work for a certain number of years under the supervision of a licensed professional engineer, and then pass the principles and practice of engineering exam, also known as the PE exam. The PE exam is a comprehensive test that covers a wide range of engineering topics and is administered by each state's licensing board. 
Obtaining a PE license absolutely demonstrates that an engineer has the education, the experience, and the knowledge required to practice engineering in a safe, ethical, and competent manner. It truly is a mark of professional achievement, and it can open up many new career opportunities and really enhance an engineer's earning potential, which everybody wants. In summary, the PE license and a PM certification are both important credentials for professionals in the engineering and construction industry. If you're interested in technical engineering work, then the PE license might be the right fit for you. If you're interested in leading projects and managing teams, the PMP or other PM certification can be a great way to demonstrate your PM skills. There are also many engineering professionals that I know who pursue and achieve both. However, I would recommend you get that PE license first if you're going to want to sign and seal plans. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. Maybe you have a question about what I talked about today, PMP versus PE. And please ask any questions you have or leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question you need answered. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam. Thank you.